is up everybody welcome back to my youtube channel um we are getting straight to it today with the biggest trick i think out of all the tricks the whip all righty so whipping is it's like your personality um it has so much hype around it because it, it shows your style it shows like the way you ride and just like you can make it any way you want you know so it's very unique to yourself and that's what i don't think people realize about whips is that it's just a way to portray yourself on a bicycle because it's style it's not like a trick where you're i don't know it's like a like a bar spin everybody can can throw a bar spin but a whip is more of just a way to i don't know make yourself I just dropped my bike. Just a, a, it's a way to portray your riding and a way to express your uniqueness, I guess. So there is no right or wrong way to do a whip, but I'm gonna show you techniques that'll help you get them started. And I mean, like I said, there there is no right or wrong way to do a whip, but this will this will help you start throwing it sideways, and then you can just critique it however you want to to make it your own. Alrighty, so we're gonna be doing this at my local step up. Oh jeez, <laughs> camera thing's all loose. Um, just gonna be hitting this a few times and show you guys just the basics and hopefully you can take it and create whatever you want out of it. Alrighty, so first things first, you have a bike, you know how to jump and you're confident on which foot you ride forward. So. The easiest way to explain this is depending on which foot you have forward, the easier it is to whip a certain direction. Um, I personally, I whip both ways. Uh, and the way that I prefer to do it is, I guess, the wrong way to do it uh, with the way my feet are. But if you watch a lot of pros out there uh, that whip big jumps, they tend to whip opposite from the way that their feet are. Um, it's just... I don't know, it, it's just, like I said, your own unique way of doing it. But um, there is an easy way to do it and there also is just a different way to do it. All right, so the easiest way to do a whip, I guess isn't, this isn't like really my opinion, it's just like what I see is, so if you're left foot forward, that means you have your right foot in the back. And the easiest way to catch air and do a whip is by taking that back leg and pushing the back end over. So you kind of just like take this foot and you just push it with your leg out. And that's basically the easiest way to do it. You just kind of push it out and then you can use your arm to bring it back, straighten out. So that's that's the first way to do it. And if you're, um, ooh, got caught there. If you're right foot forward, Easiest way to whip is to your right, I guess. Yeah, to your right. So you use that back foot. So in that case, it'd be your left foot. And you just push the bike with the leverage of that back foot. And boom, you kick it out. And then same thing as the other side, take your right arm and pull it back. So essentially, wherever your back end goes, you're gonna be using your arms to correct by turning the opposite way to correct yourself so you land straight. All righty, so the next way to whip is not using your feet at all. So the way I explained it last time was just using your back foot, depending on which foot you have forward, the back one, you just push the back end out. And other ways, like the way I normally do it, is I run left foot forward, and I, instead of whipping to the left i normally would whip to the right and by doing that i just take my handlebars and just it's all in the arms so what i do is i take my left arm and i put it on my leg and i use it to leverage the back end out and then once it's there i turn the bars this way and bring it back simple as that and key thing to do is especially when you're doing it like the bar turning way is you really want to like have your chest 
pointed at where you're going. If you start turning too much, if your chest and your like body isn't positioned the right way, you're gonna start spinning and you don't wanna do that. Cause then if you spin, you'll land sideways and then boom, you're crashed and we're not trying to crash here. We're just trying to whip. So now if you're right foot forward, we're gonna be whipping, I guess the opposite way. And you're gonna take same thing, this arm, bar to the leg, kick out that back end. And then you're gonna be using your left arm. Same thing, turn it to bring it back. Simple as that. So when you're starting these off, definitely take them slow. Um, if you're normally just used to jumping off a lip and going straight, adding in this little bit of movement can also like throw you off a ton. So my recommendation is to start slow, work your way up, throw it bigger and bigger and bigger, and just try to keep it in control as much as you can. While also, big key thing, keeping your chest pointed at where you're going, because we do not want to spin. I've crashed, every, every cra bad crash I've had is doing a whip, like weirdly enough. It's because you pull too hard and you, I guess, misalign yourself in the air and then you can't correct it and you end up going too far, can't bring it back, or it just positions you in a weird, awkward position in the air on your bike and you end up crashing and it's, it's never fun. So another thing I really wanna point out is when you go off the lip to do a whip, you do not wanna carve. That is how you scrub. And if you're gonna be learning that way to like throw a whip, it can just create a lot of problems in the long run. So what you wanna do is you're gonna wanna like go off the jump and for the most part, like keep your body straight and just start moving the back end left or right, depending on which way you wanna do it but I'm just trying to make it clear not to like come off, start on the left side and do an arc off of it. Cause that'll just create you to just keep traveling to the left or if you're coming this way to the right. And that's how you end up spinning and not doing a whip. Kind of going back on what I literally just said. Um, I definitely tend to carve a little bit, but it's like a controlled amount of carving and Typically, it's when I'm on a bigger bike and I'm doing kind of like a scrubby whip, which I, I said a little bit before, but thinking about it, like on really big jumps, I definitely arc it a little bit into it. Like, like if it's a really mellow lip, I'll kind of like carve and then snap into it. Um, but on a dirt jump, definitely don't do it because if it's like short and steep, You'd rather just like go off straight, do a whip and then land straight kind of thing. All right, so we're back up top again. Um, what I said a little bit earlier, there's two ways to whip. There is literally endless ways to whip because it's all on how you want to do it. Um, so there is one way I kind of just miss. So if you're using your legs, I'm left foot forward. So I'm going to be kicking to the right if I'm using my legs. You're just gonna back it out, kick it over there. You can also incorporate arms and legs in doing this. And so I could turn my bars and use my back foot. And then same thing, use the bars again to, to bring it back. Same thing goes for if you have right foot forward uh, and you're kicking out the back end. You can also use your arms to kick it out. Some people don't, some people do. Um, I'm gonna give you guys kind of all the examples of what I see people doing and hopefully it helps. So here you can see shoulders are straight going off the lip and then boom, kick out the back end with my back foot. And here's a different angle of me just kicking out the back end with the back foot. Shoulders are straight, land, perfect. Now onto the second technique, going off the lip, shoulders are straight, snap, that arm hits the leg and leverages the back end. Boom, and then the right arm pulls the front end back. Now onto the second angle. Snap off the lip, the arm hits the leg and leverages the back end. Pops it out, and then you use your other arm to pull it back. Now onto a hardtail example. This one's pretty much the same, but it's a little bit more advanced. I uh, pop off the lip here. Bar hits the leg, leverages it out, but I throw to the ground instead of directly to the side so the back end comes up. 
Regardless though, it's still the same technique and I use that front arm to pull in the front end and straighten out. For this technique, I kind of use my arms and legs, but not so much the arms, more the legs. Here we have another arm technique. Arm hits the leg, kicks out the back end, and straighten out. Back on the big bike, here's another arm technique. Kick out that back end. And then here's a really good example of pulling it back. You can see my tire straightens out right there at the landing. And it pulls it straight. So as you can see, most of my whips are to the right. And I do use that arm technique. But everybody does different whips. And so, I mean, you can take whatever you see here and make it your own. Um, I hope this information helped you guys. And you guys start cracking whips and making your style your own. Hope you guys enjoyed and have a good one.